Well, let's talk about Detroit. And they're on the clock at 21. The pick's in for Detroit. Needs defensive end, outside linebacker, wide receiver, cornerback, tight end. Boy, they almost got their tight end, didn't they? Well, tight end's the interesting one here. Yeah. Assistant coach now in Detroit is Al Golden. Yeah. Who recruited David Njoku to Miami? Yeah, Al Golden. Al Golden. Right. Eric Ebron has not quite lived up to the top 10 status that he was. He hasn't been terrible, but he hasn't right. lived up to it. They have a decision to make with his fifth-year option coming up. I, and Njoku's a, he's a possibility here. Yeah, I, 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 I kind of – it's always funny. It seems like the Lions are <laughs> – they're always why, – why are they still struggling to find tight ends? Well, I mean, it just seems like they're always – Because none of the ones they draft. Yeah, out. that's what I'm saying. I mean, Edigrew. you feel like they're going to waste and not, not waste. And Ebron, I, I don't you mean, can I, call it waste. I'm not calling it waste, but – Eric it, Ebron could have been Aaron Donald or Odell Beckham just for the whatever that's worth. So sure. I'm comfortable calling it a waste. You're comfortable calling it a waste? I mean, no no offense. I get, well, some offense. What do I, I have as know. a top need? To Detroit. Top need for Detroit. Defensive end, yeah. outside linebacker. Linebacker. Yeah. That's uh, I really felt like this pick was going to be the pass rusher or the linebacker. The top linebackers on the board. But you got Foster, Jared Davis, pass rushers, Charles Harris. Yeah. I mean, see, they're now they're past the Charles Harris deal, by the way. I'm just, I thought Charles Harris was going to be one of the very surprised. He's yeah, very I'm, I thought he was very surprised. But Are we into trade up range? I don't know, man. I, I, the Would phone, you trade up for it? Yeah, they're not. They, now they took us off air for a little bit. Jerry and McClay were out of the room. Yeah. for 15 now, five, 10. Minutes. I think they're I think they're I think they're sitting this one. I think they're just going to sit here and see what's happened there. It's the picks in for Detroit. So that'd be six picks to them uh, as uh, as we speak. So. Uh, but, okay, you you mentioned linebackers. Talk about we 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 know about Foster. A guy we haven't talked a bunch about is Davis. Jared Davis. Davis. Davis yeah, he's one of my favorite. Play- he's a first round pick uh, I, I, all day. I, he he was one of those guys that doesn't get enough due. Uh, and you know my my favorite line on him is there is not a passive bone in his body. Right. Unfortunately, those bones have been bruised and battered and sprained. And durability is the only reason we're not talking more about Jared Davis. Uh, he was an animal in Florida, can play inside, can play outside. I think he's a, probably the best as a Sam uh, at the NFL level. But uh, I, I really like everything he brings to the table. Really, the only thing I worry about is just staying healthy. Uh, you know, he's had plenty of issues at, at Florida that kept him off the field. But when he's on the field, no-brainer first-round pick. Yeah, we. Uh, I, I, I like what you're saying. I, 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 I tell you what, I thought the toughness – I thought it was extreme toughness. I, you know, you were talking about – it, it maybe sometimes getting caught on the wrong side, you know, with a read. But when he took it on, I mean, he he was he was a physical physical guy at that point of so attack. aggressive. Yeah, I so mean, aggressive. He, he loves to play. I mean, we talk about Reuben Foster in the same light. I mean, Jared Davis. There's not. I don't think there's a big gap between Reuben Foster and Jared Davis. I really don't. Really, it's just the durability. That's the big factor here. Yeah, and Dave. I mean. The Lions d- defensively. I mean, last year we saw them. You know, late in the season here, yeah, gave up some. He kind of took it on the chin. Yeah, gave up some big yards. You no. Know. Yeah. Well, and on, and if that's the pick, that's great. It just and I guess I shouldn't be surprised because I feel like I said that all spring is you know how concerning are these red flags for Reuben Foster that you're getting into the twenties now? It's not even that you're taking other players over Reuben Foster, but you're straight up taking a linebacker over him, saying, "Hey, we'd rather this guy than you." And is yeah. that is that the drug test? Is that the hospital incident? Is that the, you know, the drug stuff from when he was in college? Is it the injury? Well, I'm reading them all off, and all right. of a sudden I have an answer to my question. I guess. Yeah, I just, I, I just, I, I, I'm, I'm interested to see because I thought defensively, I thought they were bad. I, I, I just didn't like oh, yeah. what they were doing defensively. I really, really. They did. need help on defense. There's no yeah. question. Yeah, I mean, any, any, anybody they add on defense, I think is going to be. They help. haven't really been right since Sue left. Yeah, and and they made that decision. Yeah, well, I mean, but they were fighting for a playoff spot at the very end. Yeah, but uh, you know, defense. I just didn't feel like defensively that they were very good there. At no. the, well, the, they at made the, the playoffs this year. <laughs> I mean, so yeah. they're they're a team that's ready to yeah. win now. No, I, I said they're fighting for. They, yeah, they were in the. They yeah, were in the playoffs. they made the playoffs. I'm yeah. Sorry. yeah, they did. They were in the playoffs. That's absolutely right. So I mean, give them a little bit more help on defense. Uh, you know, let Stafford continue to. Gel with that offense. Did they score any points in that playoff? They scored like three points. Yeah, yeah they got their butts kicked. Yeah. yeah, sure did. So I mean, they're the first team out. Uh, 
Yeah. Starting at pick 21 is the playoff teams. So. Right, right, right. Yeah. Well, uh, we'll see. I mean, it's man, they, the pick's been in for a while, and the commissioner has yet to uh, to roll to the podium, though. Uh, war room activity. Uh, Jerry Jones is looking at, uh, it looks like he's got, oh, here comes, okay, here comes the commissioner for the pick for the Detroit Lions. 21st pick in the 2017 NFL draft. The Detroit Lions select Jared Davis. There you go, Dane. Linebacker, nice shot. Florida. Uh, All right, look, well, I, I guess we're I, front loaded the discussion. Uh, I believed Hassan Reddick would be drafted ahead of Foster. Yeah. I did not think that Davis would be ahead of Foster. Uh, but that does not mean that Foster's not a very good player because he is. Again, it just comes down to uh, the medicals and can he stay healthy? Because if he can, if you told me that Jared Davis is going to average between 14 and 16 starts uh, yeah, throughout his rookie contract, then he's a top 20 player in this draft. And yeah. so I mean, they're, they're getting him right outside the top 20. And now he's a tone setter right. uh, on defense. So I like him best as a Sam. Um, uh, but you talk about range, you talk about speed, uh, you know, the power. I mean, he'll, he doesn't want to go th around people. He'll go no. through them. Yeah, that's, that's clear on tape. When he arrives at the ball carrier, I mean, you hear it before you see it. Uh, it's just, it, it is a collision. So uh, really like Jared Davis and everything he can bring to the field.